Hello YouTube, this is the seventh video in our JavaScript advanced tutorial series. In this video we're going to be working with switch statements. Switch statements are very similar to if statements, but they allow you to write to do the same kind of thing with less code, but um, you kind of lose some functionality at the same time, but it can be more efficient if you're just using really basic if statement functions. So, um, you start, we'll, we'll start out with a variable. You start out by writing switch, and then parentheses, and then curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, there's a parameter. That's the variable that you're going to be testing. And then inside here, you're going to be testing if that variable is equal to values. So you write for each for each test, you write case space, and then the value. So four and then you write a colon, press enter, tab in, um, and then you write the code that you would do in the case that that was met. So, we'll say console.log the value is 4, and then we can do case Six console dot log. We have a six. Now, if we try this out, it should return we have a six. Now, if we change the value of x to four, it should say the value is four. Um, that's happening because so what's happening here is this is executing and then this is executing um, to stop that from happening you have to write break at the end of every case so like that and then just the desired outcome occurs so if we said case a B C console dot log easy as one two three. We'd also have to write break. Now we can save that, and obviously it's still going to put out four because we haven't changed x. But if we change x to a string and give it a value of A B C. easy as one, two, three. Um, you can also use variables here, so var y equals four. So we can do case y and um, sorry, and then make that four. Y and then echo out the value of X or Y. There you go. So as you can see, 4 is equal to 4. Basically, what this is doing is it's checking if X is equal to Y, if X is equal to 6, if X is equal to ABC. And if it is, then it executes the indented code. And then once that code is executed, it breaks the um, function, so this stops checking, essentially. Um, yeah, so that's about it for switches. I really tend to lean away from using switches just because they're not very... Um, they don't give you very many options. Basically, it's just checking if x is equal to y. You can't check if x is greater than y or anything like that using a switch statement. So, um, so that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be working with timing uh, using set timeout and set interval, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.